Schwarzenegger before this week is out to eliminate various programs that are the lifeline for poor and working families in California. In a country that spends two billion dollars a year on pet food, we certainly can come up with the will and the resources to make sure children have access to life-saving health care. I've worked for this county and its residents for 14 years. I love my job and I love, I love working for the residents of this county. There are many things happening in the world today, but it's not the things that are happening half a world away that keep me up at night. But the problems that I need to look for are how to provide health care for my family. The Healthy Families Program has gone a long way towards keeping my children healthy. Under this program, we pay $45 a month to cover all three of my children. They are able to see their doctor for regular checkups and immunizations without a copay. If they are sick, we can take them to the doctor without fear of being able to pay the more than $100, than $100 for an office visit. We need to send a message to the governor that these are real people's lives that he is playing with. He wants to cut programs that, that put family, families like mine safe and healthy and pass the savings on to big business. Well, I have a message for you, Mr. Governor. You need to listen to us, the residents of this state, and especially those of us here in the Valley, where the poverty rate is high and the health indexes are low. We must generate more revenue to continue healthy families because a healthy community is a good investment. Thank you. So we have one more request for you. We're going to actually put this coffin down. We're going to ask everybody to take one of these letters to Governor Schwarzenegger and form a line and deposit that letter into the coffin. This is an opportunity to make sure the governor hears loud and clear what your values are. <clears throat> Understand this. Next week, if these cuts go forward, and one of Governor Schwarzenegger's children wakes up in the middle of the night with a fever, there will be no question about whether that child goes to the emergency room to get that fever looked at and taken care of. There are thousands of children in Tulare County whose parents will have to think twice. Is this something I wait and see, or do I take the child to the hospital? Parents in the United States of America, as wealthy a country as we are, ought not have to make those kind of life and death decisions in the middle of the night. And your voice today is making sure that Governor Schwarzenegger understands that and hears that loud and clear. Thank you for being here. Thank you for caring. Thank you for being a voice for the people who don't have a voice otherwise. Please come up and deposit those letters in the coffin.